We see it too often, a baby dying after being left in a hot car. When that happens, many of us ask, what kind of parent could do that? You're about to hear from an Albuquerque woman who was charged after her young daughter died in a hot car. She insists it wasn't her fault. She explains how it happened and what it's done to her life. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. Two-year-old Giselle was shy. She didn't like to leave her mom's side. She was always attached at my hip. I love you. Stephanie Pignon, a stay-at-home mother, says her four kids were her world. I am a mom. I am a soul, just like everyone else who loves and adores her children. July 14th, 2010. It was the last time Pignon would see Giselle, an image she can't shake. All I have till this day, what's going on six years this July, is how I found her and who in her coffin. It's a day she replays over and over in her mind. Oh, I'd give anything to have her back because I miss her so much. Pignon says a chain of events unfolded that morning that would lead to tragedy. She was running a half hour late to a meeting for Giselle's four-year-old sister at the preschool at Sippy, the community college near Coors and Paseo. She says she didn't realize her husband had also put Giselle in the minivan. She was supposed to be at home with dad and her six-month-old sibling. She thought Giselle was staying home. But a quiet Giselle was sitting directly behind her. She says she just couldn't see her. All I see is the two big car seats in the very back for my older kids and like the, the ruffle of the canopy to my six month old. But right behind me, there's nothing. And when they pulled into the parking lot, my four year old decided to unbuckle herself, which she never does. The four year old opened the door and jumped out. Bignon ran to grab her. In a rush, she says she shut the door and they walked off to the meeting. She even stayed for lunch with her four-year-old. Two and a half hours passed until she found Giselle in their van. She was purple. She was convulsing. Investigators say the temperature reached up to 135 degrees in the minivan on that hot July day. She was trying to survive. Giselle was taken to the hospital while deputies interrogated Stephanie for hours. She would tell them she must have forgotten she would brought the toddler along. Hours later, she would learn her daughter was dead. At her lowest moment, things got worse. You deserve to burn in that vehicle, or I can't wait till I find you so I could hurt you the way that baby hurt. Messages of hate poured in on the internet. Pignon feared for her safety. She moved her family to Hobbs. Everyone has the right to their opinion, to how they feel, to feel outrage. Because I probably would have felt the same way too had it happened to somebody else. But the thing is, it didn't happen to somebody else. It happened to me and I live with it every day. People tonight will, will sit there and watch this story and be like, how do you forget your child? I know it's very easy for someone to say, this will never happen to me. How could she do that? And I understand that question, but I have an answer to that because I was not that forgetful parent. I didn't forget my baby. Pignon maintains she just didn't know Giselle was in her van. I did not forget you, baby. I didn't know you were there. Pignon struck a plea deal and was convicted of child abandonment, resulting in death. Do you think you should have been charged in this case? Honestly, to be truthful, no. She was facing nine years in prison at her sentencing last year. What if I get sent to prison for something that I didn't do? What's going to happen to my babies? What's going to happen to my husband? The judge gave her five years of probation. She thanks her church and attorney for standing by her side. Thank you for not giving up on me, for knowing the truth and not letting me ever give up either. You know, and I... Bignon recently moved back to Albuquerque. She now works with kidsandcars.org, a group that supports parents who've accidentally left their kids in hot cars or accidentally run over them.